In recent years, the validity of Michigan's election has been questioned. In 2020, canvassers in Wayne County halted the certification process for unbalanced precinct counts in the presidential election. The Trump campaign also sued the state, alleging Republican poll watchers were denied access. Now the 2022 general election could face more challenges. So we are um, in many ways even more prepared this year than ever before, than even than we were in 2020 to ensure that we are eliminating, mitigating, or certainly protecting the system against any potential disruptions. Sunday, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson appeared on Face the Nation to discuss fears of violence and confusion at the polls. There's a concern about the ongoing spread of misinformation, which of course fuels the potential for additional threats, harassment, and, and even violence on Election Day. Benson says plans are in place to mitigate disruptions. Election officials on both sides of the aisle are working night and day to ensure we're collaborating with law enforcement and every other potential partner to protect the sanctity of the polling place and protect the integrity of our democracy. Benson was also questioned on how a Michigan voting machine ended up at an Ohio Goodwill store and sold on eBay. We're not a voting tabulator, but a marking device, a device that's used to assist voters who need assistance in marking their ballot, uh, perhaps may have been inadvertently dropped off at Goodwill, maybe even discarded as something that wasn't clear what it was. We're still finding out those facts, uh, but it's important to note that that's happening in this era of misinformation where people are quick to seize on uh, the potential for machines to be uh, somehow insecure. Vincent says it's illegal for anyone in Michigan or across state lines to possess unauthorized election equipment. The Secretary of State also stated any machine that is compromised is immediately decommissioned and only secure machines will be in place on Election Day. Reporting in Southfield, Chris Walker, Detroit Now News at 10.